Operative autoendoscopy is a method of relatively recent development. The use of the modern Spiegel and Tice high definition endoscopes with different angles provides the possibility of a good surgical exposure of the hidden areas of the middle ear. Among these of particular interest in the region of the retrotympanum, whose most important recess is the sinus tympani, as well as the anterior epitympanum region that contains the centerfold, residual cholesteatoma frequently occur in the blind recesses of the middle ear because of the difficult surgical access with traditional automicroscopic approach. This scene shows how the backside of the tympanic region is excluded by direct microscopic vision. The use of audio endoscopy allows to explore and dissect areas around the corner, and this has reduced the possibility of residual disease in a statistically significant way. The development of the endoscopic surgery of the middle ear poses many problems for autosurgeons because of the limitations that this method presents. One of these limits is the one-hand skill that the autosurgeon is forced to. Another limit of endoscopy is the frequent fogging of endoscopy tip in addition to blood spots. This makes compulsory for the surgeon repeated instrument extractions from operative field for cleaning, with a consequent loss in surgical gesture fluidity. With these limits in mind, we imagine surgical instruments keeping the same shape and length characteristics as the traditional one, but featured with a suction channel. This feature allows you simultaneous sucking and dissecting. The latter is also more effective as assisted by the suction ability of the instrument. Each instrument can be schematically divided into a distal end, operative, viable shape, which recalls the shape of the most common instruments for dissection of the middle ear with a hole for suction. An intermediate portion consisting of a handpiece with a control hole for the fine adjustment of the suction power. The channel of each instrument has a diameter of 0.9 mm. This measure provides consistency of the instrument, reduces the possibility of clogging with debris aspirated during dissection, allows efficient and validated cleaning, ensures adequate suction power to keep a clear operative feel without the risk of damage to the soft tissues with which it comes into contact. Each instrument is connected to the vacuum tube through an angled connector with specific ergonomic features. Curved shape. Effective length of about 5 cm. Angle of 70 degrees. 360 degrees rotating distal end with a complementary lure lock joint for the instrument. The specific angle of the connector, together with the possibility of free rotation, ensures the reduction to minimum of friction posed by the weight of the suction hose, which is engaged at the proximal end of the connector itself. This makes it particularly comfortable and facilitates the dissection. In this scene, the assembly of the instrument's suction system is shown. You can see the connection of instruments to the angle junction. This junction is provided with a lure lock that allows fast change between different working ends that, once mounted, can be rotated 360 degrees on its own axis. The other end of this junction is then connected to the suction hose. The curved shape of this joint allows to minimize the friction offered by the suction hose. The following scenes are demonstrating different instruments in different surgical situations. Here you can see a tympanomeral flap using a lenticular sucking scalpel. It can be observed very close to the cutting line. The suction knife cuts and sucks at the same time. Two types of knife with different orientation are used. No blood stain invades the field of surgery and dissection proceeds fairly slidingly until the annulus. These scenes show the suction power of the needle which is subsequently used for the dissection of a retraction pocket of mesotympanum. Here we can appreciate how the suction power of a curved dissector enables the dissection of the disease from a deep recess of retrotympanum. The same dissector aspirates liquid and smog out of the operating field. In the following scenes we can observe the execution of a closed tympanoplasty with reconstruction by grafting of autologous cartilage and perichondrium of the tragus in the treatment of a mesotympanic retraction pocket.
The tympanomiedal flap is performed using a lenticular sucking knife until the annulus. The mesotympanic retraction pocket is dissected from incudostapedial joint, which seems slightly eroded. A careful and close observation of blind recesses of the middle ear is performed. A molded graft of autologous pericodrium is placed, and then a graft of autologous cartilage, which was previously modeled, is placed. The perichondrium and cartilage graft ensures proper healing of the lesion. The principal advantage of the Spiegel and Tice aspiration instrument set is the chance to effectuate at the same time dissection and aspiration maneuvers in the middle ear. This reduces the impact of operating with one hand as imposed by autoendoscopic approach. The principal advantage of the Spiegel and Tice aspiration instrument set is the chance to effectuate at the same time dissection and aspiration maneuvers in the middle ear. This reduces the impact of operating with one hand as imposed by autoendoscopic approach. The complete Dr. Panetti instrument set, including dissection instruments, different ear forceps and endoscopes, can be safely stored, efficiently cleaned and validated, sterilized in the newly designed Spiegel and Tice tray and cleaning system.